B, so we need seed oil. For seed oil, we need the squeezer. What do we need for the squeezer? The squeezer requires another steady casing. Okay, 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 okay. This is something that we can do. This is something that we should be able to fairly easily do. Not the bees. And no, not bees. We have to do it, chat. We have to do the bees. We have to balance the bees with the calculator mod. Uh, it's going to take a while, and I'm sure it's going to be as infuriating as all heck, but... <laughs> it has to be done. Uh, so metal farmer. I am going to use the metal farmer for our bronze just because the bronze uh, is a little bit more scarce to come by. Uh, and again, uh, how much redstone do we have? 99. I don't want to waste all of our redstone here, but uh, he says that as he puts redstone into the metal farmer. <laughs> um, so that's going to get us one of those. We only really need, I think, one more here because one bronze plate uh, will get us the two bronze item casings. And then finally, we just need four bronze ingots for the bronze gear as well as some steel and some copper. Fairly easy stuff. Let me get rid of the tin that's in my inventory and also let me get rid of... Uh, actually, yeah, we'll get rid of the uh, the excess bronze here. So one, two, three... Oh, no, we need one, don't we? Uh, oh, no, we don't. We need four of you, one of you... And if we come over here, we can put the copper in the middle, the steel in the corners, like so. And that's going to get us a steel mechanical component. And then finally, uh, if we do something like this. Yeah, that gets us the bronze gear. And then finally, boom, boom, and boom. Nice. We could have done that uh, in the metal farmer to save on the durability of our forge hammer. But for now, uh, it should be fine. Please, no bees. <laughs> Again, we have to do it, chat. It's not, it's not optional. Like, to get... To progress further on down the line, we have to do it. And and if we don't start it now, basically all that's going to happen is later on down the line, we're going to have to um, we're going to have to just like start it and then do nothing but bees for like ten streams in a row, which is really not what I want to do. So uh, oh, we do need something in the middle here, don't we? We need one of those bronze. Um, yeah, large plates. Okay, so that's going to require us putting bronze in the smeltery. That's fine. That is something that we can definitely do. I should probably take uh, this basic fluid tank with me because I'm not quite sure if we actually have any lava in our smeltery whatsoever since I moved it, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll show myself out. I'm sorry if you don't like the bees. Blame the pack, not the not the messenger. Uh, I'll put that. Yeah, that's perfect, right? That's a perfect place to put that. Um, and so we should have our cast. I think it might even be down here. It is indeed. We can whack you in like so. Uh, we can get three bronze and then one, two, three, four, five out of there. Shouldn't take too long for that to smelt up. And then once it's done, uh, it should pull out into the casting table. We do have a lever on our clock now, which is good. But we can turn this off uh, to pull out all of the bronze. Cool. <laughs> uh, is this done? Uh, it is. Boom. There we go. All right. Thankfully, this shouldn't take too long. We can also make another one here because it doesn't require half of the, the power that we've got to actually fill this up. So once we've done this, we can still make another one of those sturdy casings fairly easily, which is quite nice. Are there people who like bees? I'm assuming there's some people who like bees. Um, I know quite a few people who like bees. Uh, I, I don't mind bees for the most part. Um, if you have gender stream, because gender stream makes bees a lot easier. Are butterflies in here? Yeah, I've seen some butterflies around. I've never played with butterflies again, though, but so I'm, that's going to be new to me as well, but I'm guessing we'll, we'll find out at some point throughout this. Um, the only thing I don't like about bees is when you don't play with gender stream, and it's just so very grindy. Like, very, very, very grindy. Oh, my goodness. But here we are. <laughs> so we'll take two glass uh, not iron one two and then we'll uh, we'll throw this bed down as well because this needs somewhere to uh somewhere to go and you know what? we'll put this on this other level just so we can have it kind of out of the way uh yeah we'll back it down like there for now i do have more layers to this pagoda by the way they're just very very empty right now there's nothing in this one and then if we go even further up, there's nothing here uh, eventually i'd like to get rid of the um the ladder in the middle and of course replace it with a um like an escalator of some kind um not an escalator. That'd be cool as heck, though. But I mean, um, a an elevator from... Uh, do we have elevators installed? Elev... Uh, excuse me? Elevator... Elev... No? We don't have any elevators installed? <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I played around with bees when the mod, the mod was new. It was fun back then. Yeah, like I, I, like I said, I don't think it's a terrible idea. I think it could just be implemented a little bit better. Uh, I think there's too much... Like with the calculator mod that we've just kind of seen a second ago, I think there's too much randomness for a lot of people. And I think there's too much... And that randomness kind of causes grindiness, right? Because when you've got to wait for like 20 minutes for something to complete and then there's a chance that it won't be what you want, that makes for, in my opinion, like a really annoying mod, you know? Uh, the elevator is pretty expensive. Ele am I spelling it wrong? Am I, am I just a... 
Turkey. Is it do we just this one? The one from RF Tools? It's expensive <laughs> in that it requires a machine frame, yeah, but other than that, I don't think it's too bad. RF Tools Elevator. I've never used the RF Tools Elevator. Doesn't the Ender IO travel anchor work as an elevator? Yeah, that's true, actually. Um, again, I think the travel anchor is going to be an expensive piece of machinery uh, that we do not quite have. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Wood pulp, CF powder. That's a pff, an odd choice. Uh, iron ingots. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah, we could probably get the travel anchors. Um, I won't say soon. That's that's just a lie, isn't it? If I say soon, we can get the travel anchors in the future, I will, I will say. <laughs> I really like the RF Tools elevator. Does it work in a similar way to the one from Open Blocks? Or now the elevator mod? Um, no, I mean, updated to have better elevators. Ah, oh, I see. We should put the, uh, like, open blocks in here or something. Or maybe, like, a, uh, just, like, the dedicated elevator mod for 1.10. We could do. Uh, probably not going to happen, but um, <laughs> it's entirely possible, isn't it? Okay. Uh, this is going to make us some seed oil which is nice. Um, we are going to run out of power in this thing pretty soon, but thankfully, uh, I do have some more canola seeds in my chest downstairs, and so we'll fill that up uh, with, uh, not canola seeds, I have just canola, which you can put in there, have that produce uh, 100 red stuff flux per tick, which is good. Uh, it's also going to have the side effect, I should probably get a little bit more here, uh, probably going to have the side effect of also filling up all of the display stands again, uh, which is nice to have. I really wish I could take like this off here, but it's not like a real, <laughs> a real casing. Okay, so we'll stick our canola in like so. Again, it's going to turn it into canola oil, turn the canola oil into normal oil, turn the normal oil uh, into power, and then this is going to turn it into seed oil. I didn't actually realize that we've got just a ton of, um, of of oil already backed up in here. It's already working to kind of fill all this back up, which is quite cool. How is this doing? Do we have a thing? <laughs> really? 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 So does it wait? Does it, does it require... Does it have to be full-on power before it'll start doing its thing? That seems ludicrous, but that, that looks like it's going to take a while. Um, <laughs> that's so annoying. Um, but then we're getting seed oil. Uh, what do we need seed oil for? We need seed oil for, uh, we needed seed oil for the apiaries. And the apiaries uh, require so the impregnated casing, which requires 250 millibuckets of seed oil. Actually, not too bad. So I think we are going to have to wait till we get 1,000 millibuckets before we can move it. Uh, we could probably pump it around, but it's quite a ways to go. So I think I'm just going to wait. Um, and we probably do not have enough seeds, although we might have some more um, kind of around. Uh, we could put these in. Uh, can I use rice seeds? Yeah, I'm certain we can. We can. So we'll use those as well. Uh, we should definitely have enough to get buckets worth, which is good. Um, and then all we need now is some of our vast amounts of wood because we have our lumber axe, which is fantastic. We set that up last stream and it is a godsend. It's great. Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Yeah, is that like Dora style from Nemo? Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Oh, it's so slow. It's so slow. Ah, oh, okay. Let's put in the rice seeds because we've got like a trillion of them. Uh, let's put you in like so. It's not going to have to wait for this to do its thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, by the way, for those who don't know, the way the carpenter works, and uh, quite a few mods, uh, mods, quite a few blocks from forestry as well, like the thermionic fabricator, and I think at least one more, but I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Um, you put in like the recipe up here, but it doesn't actually take the blocks out of your inventory, and then you put the blocks down or the items down uh, in this bottom slot for it to use. Uh, so now we just need to wait for this to get us up to uh, a thousand millibuckets. And whilst we wait, we should probably craft ourselves a, uh, a scoop, which we're going to use uh, to go around and pick up some of the bees that we have um, just around in general. You need to make an unbreakable hammer? We could. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily high on the priority list. The one we've got right now is, is doing fine. Um, oh, I was going to say, where did I get those item filters from? But I got them from the uh, transfer notes that we broke. Uh, so I'm going to dump some stuff in here. I should probably put things uh, like the iron, like the wood, like the dirt and all that kind of stuff uh, into their respective chests. This is where uh, one of those draw controllers would come in real handy, but we don't have one, alas. So we can do that. Um, and then... Uh, really it's what inventory space that we could uh, get our bees. Do we have, I don't think we have any wool, but do we have any string? Because I think we can craft our string uh, into wool. We do have some string. Do we have four? We do not. We're just a little bit shy uh, on the string front. Let me check real quick. Can I craft up uh, four wool into, uh, four string into wool? I can. Cool. Um, so I'm going to have to just some, uh, some flax seeds here so I can craft up some wool. And then we can head on back and... Um, and I get the scoop. And once we get the scoop, uh, hopefully we'll have enough in the way of seed oil to actually start making the impregnated casing, get ourselves some APOs, get ourselves some bees, and then move on and, uh, and get some other stuff. Uh, does anyone have an easy way 
to explain how tree breeding works in Twitch chat? Because again, I've never used it before. I've seen it. I say I've seen it done. I've seen it done a little bit. I've kind of seen it done, but not really. So how does that work? Skip the controller and make an AE system. It might be freaking easier, you know. Flip pin. Heck. Okay, so like this and like this. That's going to get us a scoop. Uh, pro it might be worth our time to make a multiple scoops, but for now, this, this is fine. Uh, you see, when a mummy tree and a daddy tree... <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so that's how it works. I see. When the daddy walnut tree and the, the pops the mummy cherry tree? I don't know. <laughs> We got a damage circuit. Uh, so we can use this uh, in our reassembly thing. So we put this in over here. And this will, uh, you guessed it, very, very slowly. <laughs> Obviously, not that slow. It's still slow, but not too slow. Turn that into um, a real thing for us, hopefully. Yeah, it's getting there. I think that's one of the three that we need. So, I mean. <laughs> That's that's the time frame they're looking at there. Uh, it doesn't seem too terrible. Um, it's 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 not great, but it seems doable. Uh, I'm gonna do a bit of a check here for some bees. So bees are all over the place. Uh, we might have to go through and check a few different biomes here to get uh, a bunch of different bees. But basically, when you find a hive, you can just right click or left click even with the scoop, and there we go. Look at that. We got ourselves uh, some of these meadows princesses and meadows drones, and uh, we can progress on. So let me time out real quick here, and let me Google forestry be breeding i'm gonna try and find a picture that shows like the oh yeah oh hold on is there a better one here here we go let me let me pull this up on stream for you so we can get all technical here real quick oh gosh that's a very very large image let me uh resize that real quick here we go boom so be breeding 101 right um what you have to do is you put bees together and then when you put the bees together, they will breed and you have a chance of getting a different bee, right? Once you have a different bee, you can then breed that bee with other bees to try and get more bees, right? Uh, so you put in a princess and you put in a drone and it becomes queen. The queen then takes a while and it will have like children, I guess, and some more stuff will come around. F, F, F as the stream died. The stream seems to be fine. Uh, refresh if down. Uh, but <laughs> uh, so basically hive bees are um, bees that you would get. I'm going to hide this real quick here. I'll come back to it in a second. Uh, but hive bees are bees that you get from breaking hives. So uh, if I was to come over here, like we did before and break this meadows hive here, uh, we will get what is called a hive bee. There are a few different types of hive bee. If we go over to at, uh, or type in bee, I think, bee, uh, oh no, maybe not, drone will probably work, drone. Uh, so forest bees are hive bees, meadow drones, uh, meadow Drones, yeah, are hive bees. I think these two are the only hive bees. I think because you can combine these two, you can combine feather, uh, forest, and meadow to get common. I think. Let me check this uh, infographic again. Um, yeah, hive bee plus hive bee equals common. And so I think even if you put, so I think if you put like a forest drone with a meadows queen, you have a chance of getting a common. Once you get a common, you can combine the common with like a forest or a meadows to get cultivated. Once you are cultivated, you can see here, I don't know if you can see my mouse, you probably can't, but I'm into this like third section here. Uh, once you get to the third section, you can combine a cultivated with a common to get either a diligent or a noble, and then you can combine the diligent and noble with your cultivated to get either a majestic or an unweary, and then you can combine your unwearies um, with nobles or with diligence to get the industrious or the imperial. We need to get the imperial to get the, uh, the, the royal jelly, and we also need to get the industrious to get ourselves the pollen so that is the uh the, what we have going for us here i could i could have actually i guess showed you this uh, in here because you can see that common uh, is made with two of these uh, modest i guess is also a, a hive bee there uh well so oh, yeah tropical winter so it depends where you go to get these you know if you go to like a, a jungle you'll probably get like tropical if you go to a forest you'll get like forest um, and meadows and whatnot um and then we need to get ourselves the we need royal jelly right royal jelly uh, is I'm going to guess used as a crafting agent. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need scented casings. I believe the, the, the guide said we do need royal jelly for some purpose. I think we might need the apiary for some reason. Um, is it called the apiary? Give me a second. Uh, the scented paneling is used, I think, to make the apiary. But anyway, we need to get royal jelly. And to get royal jelly, you need the imperial queen, which is the highest tier of B basically. And to get this, you can see majestic and noble. Noble is common and cultivated. Cultivated is common and forest, etc., etc., etc. So basically... All that aside, <laughs> we have to get 
a bunch of bees, right? We have to get a bunch of bees. And, and to start with, at least, they have to be of two different kinds. So thankfully, I don't think we need to go too far out. We don't need to get, like, one of every type of hive bee. But I think we might have to get, like, a couple of forests and a couple of meadows, potentially, which shouldn't be too hard. In your graph, it shows the hive bees, does it? Oh, yeah, it does right there at the top. Hive, forest, meadows, modest, wintry, tropical. Um, and then whatever the rest of those say, it's kind of too far away on that other monitor. Okie dokie. We're going on an adventure. It's true we are. We're going to head out to find what looks like just a... Oh, is that a... No, that's just a tree. Uh, what looks like just a lot of, um, of meadow hives, if I'm being honest. Uh, how is this doing? Uh, we got another one. We got another one of these um, damaged circuits. It looks like we are getting somewhat lucky here and getting different ones every time. Um, however, draw controller. Do we have the right ones here? No. God damn it. Really? Really? Is that not the same as this one? It looks different. Can you... Question, chat. Is a question to the people who are in the server right now, who are on this and who have got further than I have, and who maybe have made this or not. I'm not quite, quite sure. Can you use any three circuits here, or do you have to use these three specific ones? Hopefully not the latter, otherwise it could take us, could take us a while. Nevertheless, nevertheless, we have um enough seed oil no we don't we'll put some more seeds in we should soon have enough seed oil to get a bucket's worth of seed oil and start making uh, those impregnated casings once we've got the impregnated casing and uh, we need to start making ourselves a bunch of apiaries uh, we're probably gonna need like quite a few of them we've got quite a few bees and the more that we have the better chance we have of getting all the stuff did i turn my sound down i did i'll turn it back up i turned it down whilst i was building the pagoda because i was like doing it whilst watching netflix or something uh, but uh, let's get rid of this uh apiary what did I come down here for? I've come down here for a specific reason. I've come down here for a bucket. A bucket is what I came down here for, and I know we have one in there. Let us head bone back. Uh, do we need to analyze it? Do I need to analyze what? The bees or this stuff over here? Will Isaac die to the bees? Muwat says, if the Twitch gods grant it. I think the, the Twitch gods are forever in my favor, and thus will not will not kill me in this regard. Uh, so that's done, I guess. That's also not a circuit that we wanted. I'm going to put these down here, uh, just because... Where else would I put them? Okay. Um, uh, you can just pipe it into a tank and put it in the carpenter. Yeah! I guess that's true. I mean, we've almost got... We've got... I mean, we've got a thousand miller buckets now, and uh, I'm just going to do this. But in hindsight, your way would have been better, actually. We could have just used... Um, like our basic fluid tank, our transfer node, pulled it out, and then used that as a bucket to pump it in there. But nevertheless, we are on our way to crafting up our first of many impregnated casings. And actually, speaking of that, we should probably get more uh, wood here real quick so we can get more of those impregnated casings because we need one for every apiary. And I want to set up like 10 apiaries. <laughs> like I mentioned before, the more apiaries, the better. And the, 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 the guide does recommend that you set up your apiaries and do all of your bee stuff in the mining dimension. Because for those who don't know, uh, bees have certain requirements that need to be met. They're very picky. And so, for example, uh, daylight is one thing. Bees will only breed during the day. Uh, they require flowers to be nearby. Uh, they require certain temperatures, depending on which bee you have. Uh, most bees just require daylight and flowers. And in the mining dimension, it's day all the time. And there's grass everywhere, so we can use some bone meal or something and put some flowers down. And, and everything should be good. Everything should be good. Um, so what do we need to just complete this now? We just need wood of any kind. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Here we go. We'll make just like a bunch. Uh, I say a bunch. We'll make a good... Uh, yeah, we'll make a bunch. There we go. <laughs> we'll make like all of these that we can. Do something like this. Get... Are we going to say a bunch again? We'll get a few of these and then we'll just do this. Uh, we'll do like this and this. And we'll see our impregnated casing in the middle. And we have our first apiary. So, <laughs> now that we got this, uh, do we have... First of all, let's eat some food again so we don't die here. Um... I'm going to make more, and I'm going to, like, for now, I'll just go and show you how this one works, and we'll come back, uh, and we'll, we'll collect the rest of them, which will hopefully uh, build up over here. I don't know if this is the stack. I have no idea. We're going to find out, I guess. Uh, but if we're going through into the mining dimension, uh, I have claimed these chunks here, so we should be uh, should be all good. And I'm going to do it on this side. No, I'm going to do it on this side, because this side's chunk loaded. So, we're going to stick down our apiary. Boom. Apiary placed down. So, for example, here, if we were to place in a forest princess and a meadows drone, they should go together and we should get a forest queen. And then, very slowly, 
over time, uh, that forest queen should deteriorate. This bar should come down. And when this bar hits zero again, we will get uh, probably like a forest drone, a meadows drone. And we have a chance of getting, uh, we'll probably get, I think, a part of forest princess back as well. And we have a chance of getting a common drone or a common princess, which we can then use to breed again. And that's sort of the part that makes it tricky because you have to have, um, I think, a common princess to proceed potentially. Uh, but you can see here, we don't have any flowers. And so these guys are not going to pollinate. Uh, and so we do have to head out a little bit. I mean, I'm not seeing many flowers. I'm seeing a lot of um, seeing a lot of canola seeds, which is quite useful. But I think I might have to go through to the overworld here and and see about getting a couple of like rose reds and, and dandelion yellows. Wow, this is real slow. How much seed oil do you need here? 250. Uh, so we should still be able to make more of those. Uh, there we go. Another one. You know what? I'm going to make these real quick. Um, we do have a ca you know what? I'm going to make a crafting table out here as well because we should we should probably have one. It go it's going to make life easier instead of going backwards and forwards every time that we need to uh, to craft something whilst we're out here. So we'll break this down like right there, and then we'll just do this. We'll do this. Boom, boom, and kaboom. Nice. All right. So we'll take this. We're going to put all these uh, apiaries kind of close together over in the uh, mining dimension. So we'll put down one, maybe a few blocks of. I don't think you can put them directly next to each other. I think they do require a little bit of space. But if I put one like here and then maybe like here, I think that should be far enough away. And then if we just put down like a bunch of flowers, nice and evenly around all of our apiaries like so, I think we should be getting somewhere. Uh, did we not get any dandelions? I really thought we did. Um, but yeah, that's fine. You can see the red uh, cross over here has gone away. It's now in good condition. Uh, the temperature is normal. The humidity is normal. Everything is good. And so over the course of the next uh, 400 quadrillion years, uh, these are going to um, breed and do their thing. Uh, so over here, we can do the same thing. We can put in like a, a Meadows Princess and then maybe like a, a Forest Drone. That'll do the same thing. And then over on the other side, we'll do like a Forest Princess and a Meadows Drone. Sure. Why not? So now that's done, <laughs> let us... Um, you forgot about the crafting table on a stick? I did, actually. I did 100% uh, forget about the crafting table on a stick, which I should be carrying around with me and would make life a lot easier in this scenario or in scenarios like this. Um, I have made another chest here, but I'm going to use this chest as our bee chest just to keep all of our beekeeping uh, things for the time being so we can come back and, and put the bees where they need to go. You can see there the bar is starting to move down ever so slowly, uh, but eventually it will, it will do what it needs to do. Uh, you can also press C on the ground of the crafting table. Yeah, I completely forgot about that, actually. You can uh, press C on the floor like this and then do, like, just basic crafts. I ought to make, like, a chest here. I could have done this and pressed C again to get a chest. Uh, that is something that I completely forgot about, but is definitely doable. Flip an egg. So there we go. That's, um, that's that. <laughs> um, let us see. How are we doing over here? We've got another damaged circuit, which is good. We can put this in here and start to repair it again. Uh, there is our impregnated kissing. Let's get rid of that. And also let's get rid of this, just on the off chance uh, that it is indeed taking all of our power. Uh, and then I guess for now, uh, again, I'll put it in like here. I'll probably forget where it is, but that's fine. That's fine. We can come back to it uh, in the future. Uh, there are bee-specific chests to hold so many bees. Is this true? Is it called like the bee chest? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we sure there would be a specific chest like in as part of forestry? Is that is that a thing? Uh, this shouldn't take too long here. Hopefully, this will get us what we're after. Um, I don't. I didn't see an answer in chat, but I'm assuming we can't use the um, just any old circuits to build this. Um, this. Are we to analyze them? <laughs> of course we do. Of course we do. How does one go about making? And do we need the analyzing chamber? It needs four weaker diamonds. Easy enough. Four reinforced iron blocks, which is not. Easy enough, but it's easy enough, if you know what I'm saying. And then four in which cold. Eh, that's not bad. So do we need this to... Doesn't require power to operate. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Apiaris chest. Oh, yeah, would you look at that? Uh, we do need some um, honey to do it. We do have... Uh, well, actually, we had a few honeycombs, didn't we? Give me a second then, chat. Give me a second. Let's uh, let's test this. Let me grab, like, one piece of... Um, <laughs> let me grab one piece of glass real quick, and we should be able to uh, to test this out because this would be a, a nice feature to have. So we'll take one of you. I think we do have five honeycombs over in the mining dimension. Like, maybe I thought we had like six. We're going to find out. But I think we have like at least five, which is what we need to make the APA's chest here. All right, this place is a mess. I will clean all this up between between streams. <laughs> I'll move the, especially the Industrial Craft 2 stuff that needs to be moved so that it can be um, more easily used. And then... Here we go. We'll get rid of, like, this half. Of course, that was the half with all the bees in. Gosh, dang it. Flipping egg. <laughs> all right, but that's all our uh, combs here. And if we do this with this and this, 
And a bearish chest. Look at that. So, oh yeah, would you look at that? We can't put honeycombs in it, which is a shame. But I can put my honeycombs in here. So how does this work? Does it just store different types of bees? Yeah, look at that. So they're all question marks. We don't know anything about these bees, but we can store them. And we've got a couple of pages here for storing bees. That's quite nice. We can store our bees in there, I guess. How are these doing? Yeah, they're going to take like half an hour. Which makes them a little infuriating, you know, that, this is the point that people are annoyed at because it takes so long. Uh, Gender is quite nice because it adds ways to make them, them faster and it adds ways to guarantee uh, that the bees will breed and all that kind of stuff. But, um, but for now it's fine. So this is still doing its thing. That is now a fully done circuit. Not the circuit I was after, but it's still a fully done circuit. Uh, so now let's head on back down uh, to the... Um, to the bottom here, make frames. So I know you can make frames to um, to do a couple of things. You can do them to like increase the uh, the amount of output that you get from your bees, uh, because you can also use different types of bees to make different resources. They're not just used um, to breed with each other. Um, and I think there is also frames you can use. It does mention in the guide a little bit uh, frames that you can use to increase the chances of breeding. I believe, um, but I'm gonna have to look into it because I'm not familiar with how the bee breeding works. It does mention here, if you're not familiar, you should watch some YouTube tutorials. I probably should. Um, but down here, uh, also you have people breed, blah, 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 blah. Um, you have access to mutating frames for more bees. So do I need mutating frames? Well, I do need imperial bees to get the mutating frames, which seems like quite a... Um... I mean, what's the point? <laughs> I always feel what's the point? Because if... Um, if you need royal jelly to get it, the royal jelly is already like the hard part. The whole reason why we're making all this stuff is to get the royal jelly so we can get the imperial princesses. But at that point, ha. Ah. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at this analyzer, shall we? Uh, I think we have what it takes to make this, although we are gonna need quite a bit of reinforced stone. Thankfully, it is the easiest thing in the world. We will, however, I think have to um, charge up our calculator. So I do this. How much juice do we have left? 163. It actually doesn't use that much power, in all honesty, which is quite nice. Uh, so I need four blocks of this uh, this iron here. So we have to do uh, this and this, and then we need, what, 36? Uh, we need four more of those. Now we can make ourselves four blocks of reinforced iron, like so. And then all we need now is more weakened diamonds, which require more reinforced iron, but only the one. So that's easy enough. I like it. Also, I love the uh, the caffeine sellouts in chat. Every time someone subscribes, I like it. I like it. Okay, so we'll do this. Uh, I don't know what we want. We'll do... Uh, yeah, no, we will. We'll do this and this and this and this. No? Is that not... <laughs> Am I... Oh, no, it's in the other calculator. It's in the other calculator like that. That gets us the four weekend diamonds. And then all we need now is the advanced assembly, which... Couldn't just be easy. Uh, it would be too easy if it was just easy, but actually it's not too bad. It's just a lot of uh, calculator crafting. If we do this and this, we can then smelt these up. Uh, I guess uh, we might, uh, I was gonna say we might as well do it in the um, electronic furnace, but actually, yeah, we might as well do it in the electronic fur furnace. I don't think it's that uh, slow right now. So we can put uh, all four of you in there. We are gonna need some redstone because our power setup right now is uh, a little bit dire, but that's fine. All right, here we go. We'll drop you in there. It's going to use all of our redstone, but that's fine. It's going to dump all the stuff out uh, into here. Once we've got all of those, we need four calculator assemblies, which needs ah, a lot of steel. Uh, so we need 16 steel uh, to make this happen. And also, we need some baguettes to get our hunger back up here. Uh, I've been watching the VODs of this, and I'm loving you back on streams. I'm glad, Dracula. Thank you very much for the subscription again. I'm glad you're enjoying the, uh, the VODs. I did update all the VODs today on uh, on Twitch. They all have a thumbnail now because the VODs are kind of all over the place. Uh, for those who don't know, I, I when I stream, you can watch the, the full stream back. But what I then do is I highlight the stream uh, because Twitch gets rid of VODs after 60 days if you're a partner. Um, and if you make a highlight, it'll stay there forever. And also you can then export it to YouTube, which is what I do uh, for Gaming on Caffeine Live. And so today I added thumbnails to all of the, um, the highlights just to make it a little bit easier uh, to see what's what. So if you missed a stream or you want to watch it, uh, you can watch them here on Twitch. And it's actually fairly easy. Uh, okay, so we need more cobblestone. We also need a lot of normal stone, which will be in our blocks chest if we have any, which I don't think we do, uh, unfortunately, because I've been using a lot of it on making all of the stone bricks, which make up uh, the base of our uh, soon-to-be pagoda which right now is not much of a pagoda at all. It's mostly just a, a tower. Uh, do we have any stone? No. No stone. Whatsoever. No, we have no stone. Okay. In that case, <laughs> it looks like we're going back over to our electric furnace here. We're going to spell up some, uh, some cobblestone. Uh, so, 
Let's make all those. Uh, do we have what it takes to make this thing? No, we're missing one more of these ingots here, uh, but that shouldn't be too hard. Reinforced stone and an iron ingot like so. And then boom, finally, and boom, we have ourselves an analyzing chamber. Uh, so now we've got this guy. I think what we could do is we can put this down like here for now. And uh, we should be able to analyze our circuits, I think here. So uh, let me just like organize the inventory real quick and let's see about analyzing these. How does this, I mean, I feel conned. Doesn't require power to operate. I mean, am I am I losing it here, chat? It says anal Oh, 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 oh! I see. I have analyzed them successfully, right? And I get calculated screens, right? Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Twitch chat. That makes a lot more sense. So sometimes you get redstone flux for some reason, uh, but nevertheless, do is there any point in me analyzing these? Okay. Well, in that case, hold on, guys. I'm gonna make a. Uh, I'm gonna make a key. Here, just to, uh, I said at the beginning of the stream, I wanted to make a key so I could lock these drawers. I would still like to do this. Uh, thankfully, it is uh, fairly easy to do. Do I have any spare uh, storage drawers lying around? Uh, T. T? I do. Okay, so actually, if we take uh, this and then we craft it up with sticks, I think it is. Yeah, just sticks all around it. Uh, we'll make some sticks here because why not? Take eight of those around our storage drawer, like so. Uh, combine that up with some gold and some gold nuggets, and then we'll have the ability uh, to lock our drawers here, which will mean that we don't have to worry about pulling uh, too much of a single item out. If I'm not mistaken, it's like uh, this. Nope, I am mistaken. It's close. <laughs> it's like this. There we go. My brain instinctively pulled out uh, one too many gold ingots there, but here we go. We can lock all of these storage drawers, uh, and so now they will always show the item on them, you can see those little, um, like, locks that are showing up at the top of the drawer there that imply that they are uh, locked. And so now if we just lock all of these, like so, uh, if we were to pull everything out, so we've only got eight emeralds, we pull them all out, uh, it still shows emeralds, and we can still put the emeralds back in easily uh, without, like, having to put other stuff in there or, or having to see an empty slot for a while. Uh